Because you know what, you guys? Weight loss is hard. Graduate school is hard. And when you try to combine both of them at the same time, you guys, it kind of makes you feel positively, 100%, most likely, like you've lost your entire mind. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I've been like get copyrighted. No! Hey YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. So YouTube family, today's video, we just go like, you know, have us a little talk about how weight loss is just, I don't know how to feel about it y'all right now. For today's video, you guys, I was really tempted to order something from DoorDash. I found out a couple days ago, y'all, that Greenville has DoorDash. What? Like, you guys, I feel like we're so fancy now. Like, who are we? I mean, I don't know what's next. Will we get a Whole Foods? Will we get a Target? Will we get a Costco? I don't know, y'all. Let's try to manifest that into existence. Also, you guys, I do have some other roasted bell peppers on here, y'all. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So, you guys, let me go ahead and tell y'all that yesterday, I fasted for maybe 16 to 17 hours yesterday, y'all. But I will say that I did have a couple, maybe not a couple, maybe a little bit more than a couple keto-friendly treats, you guys, because my period is about to come on. And <laughs> it felt great. So, you guys, I made some chicken salad and I decided to put them on some cucumbers to make like little sandwiches y'all yeah i love that for me right now perfect yesterday night you guys i was feeling a tad bit like disappointed in myself and then i started thinking about how you know i need to be thankful for the weight loss that i've had so far and you know things are gonna happen i don't feel like anyone i mean i don't want to say anyone but no journey in life period is perfect and I hate like how like, you know, when we mess up on whatever weight loss journey we're on, we like try to like, you know, kind of in a way beat ourselves down. And I was like, no, ma'am, we're not doing that. So I stopped myself. I'm very proud of the fact that I was able to stop myself because that's like a big improvement for me, y'all. I'm not going to wallow in the fact that I ate, you know, a couple more than what I should have keto treats yesterday. But today we're going to celebrate our weight loss and celebrate any and all non-scale victories. So as always, you guys, all I need y'all to do is to what? Grab a snack, maybe even get a drink, prop your feet up, relax, and enjoy the video. And y'all, I mean, if you're eating with me, let me know, y'all. You drinking some with me? You know, let me know, let me know. So you guys, I would really love for y'all to comment down below and tell me at least one thing about your weight loss or your non-skill victory that you're proud that you achieved. Real quick backstory, if you don't know, I started taking pictures and documenting my weight loss journey at around 212 to 214 pounds. I had two scales that I was using, y'all, so that's why I say those numbers. However, you guys, in the very beginning, I refused to, like, take pictures or get on the scale. So I know that I was bigger than 212 to 214 pounds. I know this, y'all. But when I started, like, getting more comfortable with myself and, like, actually documenting my journey, it was at that weight, y'all. So, um, yeah, right now, y'all, your girl is at 161 pounds. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show y'all my before picture and my current picture. And, yeah. <laughs> your girl is down over 50 pounds <laughs> love that for myself y'all like there's a big difference in myself now and myself before in my last video you guys i was just like joking around like doing like a little warm-up for graduate school and i did one where i just randomly kicked my leg up and i was able to hold it yeah what <laughs> that was never the case before y'all I'm not saying that people who are at like 200 pounds or higher can't do that, y'all. But my old self, y'all, she could never, period. Point blank. The thing that's like really odd, y'all, before, um, I used to love the heat. I mean, I still enjoy the heat now. I sun gaze while meditating and everything, y'all. But my old self, she used to like it to be like a good 85 degrees, y'all, in the house. Sometimes, y'all, I used to even go sit down, like, in the summertime. Good old Southern Mississippi heat, y'all. 
literally sit in the car sun shining on me windows up and you guys i really used to feel content and all like i know that i am a pisces and i'm an aries cusp y'all do have like a good amount of fire in my chart y'all but <laughs> that wasn't normal At the time y'all i thought that was okay wtf now you guys i like the house to be like it you know like 71 72 69 sometimes <laughs> Let me stop playing. <laughs> Third thing that I've noticed differently, you guys, is that your girl is really into like trying new things. Now listen, I'm still a true introvert, y'all. Heavy on the introverted side, y'all. Definitely. Wait, you're introverted? I'm introverted. <laughs> Cause when we were talking, I was like, I don't know. They seem cool, but like, I don't know. Do you want to be friends? Honestly, I've noticed that there's a sense of confidence that I have now that I've never had before. Like, I can only imagine having that type of confidence. And, like, while I was meditating the other day, it, like, really dawned on me how much your girl is transforming. And you know what? In a way, it's, like, a little scary, y'all. But, like, I'm really so excited about what there is to come. Like, I really and truly have high hopes right now, y'all. Another one is, y'all can barely see this, but this bell pepper is burnt AF, y'all, and it's so good. I love it burnt like this. Getting to know you guys has really been a life-changing experience for me, and I'm not just saying it. Like, I really mean that. Whether you guys decide to comment down below on a YouTube video or message me on Instagram, I just love the mess out of that, y'all. Seriously. Editing version of your girl coming in. Remember, you guys, this is a judge-free zone. <laughs> Basically, I feel like getting to know y'all on YouTube, like, lets me know that everyone in this world isn't, like, crummy, even though that's what I seem to attract in real life. But, like, it lets me know that the possibility of meeting, like, genuine good people is possible me opening up a little bit more i've had very traumatic like when i say traumatic i mean very traumatic family and friends situation you guys but hey that's what your girl signed up for i don't know why i did that i have no idea why <laughs> but in a way y'all i feel like it helped prepare me for youtube like it's kind of crazy like at the same time i understand when some people talk negatively about youtube or any social media platform y'all but i'm just like in the real real world a lot of stuff that youtube lets slide that's not happening in a workplace not at all mm -mm. youtube is really pushing me out of my comfort zone you guys plus you guys is helping me open up more like as slow as possible that's how much i'm opening up but hey it's happening matter of fact you guys i saw something this morning Literally, it was the first thing I saw on Instagram. Hashtag signs, you guys. Laptop. Putting my password in. Don't look at my password, you guys. It says, you guys, the butterfly does not look back at the caterpillar in shame. Just as you should not look back at your past in shame, your past was part of your own transformation. Oh my gosh. I had to make sure to save that, y'all, because... That was a sign. You guys, I just got a couple of grades in for grad school. Yes, come through my spirit team. Oh my goodness, yes. Ah! Yes, y'all, I have all my grades in except for my portfolio paper, which is like worth 270 points, which is really important for me, y'all. Today, you guys, I really wanted us to like celebrate our wins, period, point blank. If by any chance you are new here, hi, welcome to the family. Your girl is over here documenting her keto weight loss journey and grad school journey. And your girl is sharing everything. So join me by clicking that subscribe button plus the notification bell as well. So you won't miss out on any future uploads here. The uploading schedule is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And guess what? We have not missed an upload yet. To my amazing, beautiful, unique YouTube family, thank you so, 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 so much for watching this video. As always, if you don't hear it from anyone else, I love you. So stay blessed. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be... Friday, and y'all already know the vibes. Friday video is going to be a weekly weigh-in video, point blank period. Yes, yes. Please remember, you guys, to stay blessed, stay safe, and of course, stay unique. And yeah, y'all, I will see y'all on Friday. Love you so much. Bye.